<laughs> so in this lecture, we are going to talk about gradients. In order to do that, first we start with some definitions of functions. Then we continue with rules of differentiation. Uh, here we focus on scalar, va scalar value functions. Then uh, we will introduce gradient and talk about some of the common gradients. At the end, to clarify uh, something between differentiation, partial derivatives, and gradients, I will provide a quick overview of these three notions. All right. So part one of gradients. The goals of this part is to understand the definition of functions and also uh, how we can measure All right, so a function usually takes an input and produces an output. So this is how we define a function. For example, f of x is equal to two multiplied by x. So this is a function. It is commonly denoted as f from domain x to range y. We call x the domain for this function and we call y the range of this function. An alternative format is f of x is equal to y, where x shows the variable and f of x is the output of the function. So if you show function like this box, the input for this box is variable x and the output is y. The name of the function is based on what it produces, based on its output. If the function's output, y, is a scalar, then we call it a scalar value function. On the other hand, if the function produces a vector, we refer to it as a vector value function. All right. So dimensions of a function. Uh, when we are talking about dimension of a function, we mainly focus on dimension of the domain and also dimension of the range. Considering f from domain x to range y, or f of x is equal to y, or x, which is a subset in the domain x, which is a member of domain x, and y, which is a member of uh, range y. Where? both the domain and range are real values. So one as a real function, a scalar values real function, or f from real values number to real values number. We also consider a, a scalar valued function that its input is a vector space, is a vector. So the input for our function could be n-dimensional and the output could be a scalar. So the input is a vector, the output is a scalar. If you recall, we had f. Here, the input could be x1, x2, x3. So x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. These are different inputs. So we have a vector as input for function f. And the output is just one scalar, y. So y is equal to, in this example, f of x1, x sub two and x sub three. So one example could be x sub one plus x sub two, x sub three. So this is a scalar valued function with a vector as input. Another example of this case is the norm. So if you remember uh, in the vector section, we define norm. The input for norm is a vector of dimension n. However, the output of norm is a real valued scalar. So uh, the variations of the above two and the additions of matrices describe all of the functions with respect to their dimension. So in tensors, 
and that has more applications in terms of analyzing data, collecting, receiving data, storing data, and how we are extracting intuition when it comes to data analytics. So all these concepts, vector, met First, uh, I would like to talk about uh, functions uh, from real number, one dimension of real number, one dimension of real number. One example is f of x is x squared plus one divided by x. Another example, f of x is minus two x minus a square root of x. And another example is f of x is logarithm of x plus 7x to power 3. Another example, another set of functions that I want to provide some examples are functions that their input is a vector of dimension n and the output is a scalar value. So they are still a scalar value with function. One example, f of x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 is equal to minus x sub 1 power 3 plus 4, x sub 1, x 2, minus x sub 3. As you can see here, for this specific function, which is from three-dimensional space to real values, we have function f. The input is a vector x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and the output is a scalar. Let's call it y. Another example, a function from two-dimensional space to real values. We call it f of x sub 1 and x sub 2 is equal to x sub 1 square plus x sub 2 square. So this is also uh, another example of a scalar valued function with an input of vectors. All right, the next part after we review the notion of uh, functions is uh, understanding the product sum and chain rules, which are some rules for differentiation, for finding the derivative of a matrix. Even functions f of x and g of x the product rule tells us derivative with respect to x of function x, f of x, multiplied by function g of x is equal to derivative of function f with respect to x multiplied by g of x plus f of x multiplied by derivative of function g with respect to x. This is called product rule. The second rule is called sum rule. Derivative of function f plus function g of x with respect to x is equal to derivative of function f with respect to x plus derivative of function g with respect to x. And finally, we have the chain rule. Derivative with respect to x of g of f of x is equal to Derivative of function g with respect to f multiplied by derivative of function f with respect to x. Now I'm going to provide some uh, example, uh, one example for product rule and sum rule, just for clarification. Let's define two scalar value functions f of x, which is x squared plus x and g of x, which is equal to 3 multiplied by x. Uh, first, we want to take a look at product rule. Product rule for differentiation. Derivative with respect to x of f of x multiplied by g of x equal to, let's follow the rule, df dx multiplied by g of x plus f of x multiplied by dg
plus f of x, which is x squared plus x multiplied by dg by dx, which is three. So if we simplify this further, it's going to be six x squared plus three x plus three x squared plus three x, which is nine x squared plus six x. We can find it in another way as well. Let's multiply f and g, f of x multiplied by g of x will be x squared plus x multiplied by 3x, which is 3x to power 3 plus 3x squared. Now we want to find derivative with respect to x of 3x to power 3 plus 3x to power 2. We have 9x squared plus 6x. As you can see, these two left. Now let's see an example of the sum rule for differentiation. So we want to see what's the derivative of f of x plus g of x. As we said, it's d of f, d of x plus derivative of g with respect to x. We already have this, 2x plus 1, 3. 2x plus 1 plus 3, or 2x plus 4. Now let's find it in another way, d with respect, derivative with respect to x, x squared plus x plus 3x, which is derivative with respect to x, x squared plus 4x, which is 2x plus 4. Again, as you can see, these two values are the same. So these are some examples to showcase the product and some rules. So in for part uh, one of gradients, uh, we talked about, we reviewed the definition of function. Then we introduced two uh, categories of functions, a scalar valued, functions and vector valued functions. A scalar valued functions are functions that could be from n dimensional space to one dimensional real numbers. So we mainly talk about real functions. And vector valued functions are from n dimensional to n dimensional. So the output is also a vector. Then we talked about some properties of a scalar valued function. Include part one of functions. Now we have a general idea of variables. And in the next uh, in the next part of gradients, we are going to dive into gradient, the notion of gradient, and how uh, we can find the gradient for different functions.